Hey everybody, hope you're having a good New Year's Day. Uh, just thought I'd put up a little video about uh, some of our customized toy tractors. Customized look like pulling tractors. Uh, they have varying degrees of uh, accuracy and detail. Uh, mostly because some of them were still for playing and some of them were the boys did some of the boys did uh, when they were younger um, actually the boy <laughs> the last one they that I'm going to show you that they did they did when they were in their teens Matthew built most of them David did a couple of them and anyhow just thought it might be something interesting for you to look at so here, here you go here's one not really super detailed uh, I did for my dad when he was pulling a 720 and uh like I say it's not super duper detail but it was uh something neat for him to have on display so put it together for him he appreciated it I still think it looks pretty neat got no wheelie bars on the back or anything but it was just in a display case this is the real deer power. A couple of different pictures of it. And this is one of the toys one of my boys made, a uh, model of it. Um, when they were in their early teens, uh, it's complete with the dirty look, dirty tires, and the Deer Power team never really had taken the time to uh, make their tractors appear really attractive. <laughs> they just put them together to run good. So that's what this reflects that. Um, accurate how they, the weights they used, the weight brackets like that, and wheelie bars like that. And, this is all made of wood. The boys carved it out. <laughs> carved the tires. Yeah. There's a couple pieces that are metal. Fenders and different things. But That's uh, pretty good craftsmanship for the early teens. Pretty good detailing and everything. There was an old Alice WD-45. The... Valen and Lucas pulling team. This is a later picture when they had the wide front and the twin turbos. But uh, this is a model. Like I say, it's made mostly of wood. That uh, my son's my youngest son uh, put together. It's got some very good detailing on it. And uh, of course, he bought bought these tires, but because uh, they fit correct for the scale and everything but uh thought he did some pretty good detail work on there made the seat and the steering wheel and the gear shifter and the fenders and the weights and all thought it was a pretty decent job accurate as it could make it got the drop axles and everything on there got your wheelie bars and yep looks like you can get on the thing to start up four barrel carburetor on with the air cleaner and yep I do not, well, I have some pictures of it, but I couldn't run across them quick enough uh, today. This old Oliver 88 Super Stocker in the early 70s, I think the guy's name was Rich Harris. Don't quote me on that. You can correct me in the comments if you recognize this tractor. Uh, thought it was a neat tractor, so... Now this one, 
he carved out the tires, the rear tires, tread and everything. So I thought it was a heck of a good job. Carved out the tread on them tires out of wood. Like I say, these are mostly wood. Yep. Even got the distributor in there and the wires and everything. Got his alternator there. And of course, this is the. Got a little dust on it. <laughs> the interesting side's got the little intercooler on there. The four barrel carburetor with the, the air cleaner. And, yep. I thought he did a right good job on that Rab Scallion. Like I say, they were done when they were early to mid teens. That uh, helped them become master machinists and fabricators of full size things, is making little miniature things when they were kids. This is black and white photo of the old Delaware Ether Eater. First one Coleman Wheatley put together when he was down in uh, Florida pulling in 77 when this picture was taken. Uh, he obviously had to borrow some weights from one of his IH buddies because he would never have <laughs> international weights on his otherwise. But uh, anyway. And this is the first one that Matthew made of the Delaware Racer Eater. He, uh, like I say, it's carved out predominantly out of wood. It's pretty good uh, detailing on there, especially with the, he's got the steering gear box on the side and got the intake and everything. The engine detail's pretty good. And, He, this was the first one he made when he was mid mid teens. He made some some other ones and and sold them on eBay. Uh, a little later on, with even more detail. But uh, I thought that was some pretty good detail on this. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's hard to tell them from the real one <laughs> when you see see a picture of them. Of course, of course, you got the big injection pump on this side with the drive, big uh, American Bosch Mac pump on there, and uh, with the injection lines. And this is where he had his fuel tank up front there. But I thought for being carved out of wood, that was pretty good. Excellent job. And of course, Dave Stangle on solid junk. Minneapolis Moline G1000. Him and Ron Perry's uh, collaboration. We had a little representation of that put together just to display up on a shelf. Not what you call great detail, but just for sitting up on the shelf in the shop. But there it is. We sure wanted to have him represented. <laughs> and there's the lineup. Ready to go pulling. <laughs> I thought that was pretty neat. Boys got some talent. Hey, if you like this kind of thing, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, leave a comment and tell people about it. Share the video if you know how. Hope you have a great day. Um, catch you later. See ya.
always got it right. Anyhow. <laughs>